Hi, this is a short video to show you the setup I'm using for recording my, um, my videos for class. I'm using an iPad as a whiteboard so um, I can um, easily write on it. Um, so this is a PDF that my iPad is currently showing. So the setup is, is this one. Uh, there's really three parts. So the iPad is right here and that's what I'm uh, currently um, highlighting on. I have my Mac that is also uh, recording the, the screen and I have an external camera which is going to be useful when I'm going to be doing demos. So I'm going to have uh, circuits here so that camera can be uh, aimed at me or uh, pointed to some electronics that I'm going to be um, displaying. I am not using, actually let me change this, uh, I am not using the screen at all here for this demo, only three things. I'm recording um, from these three different things, and um, the fourth one is the, the sound from a microphone. So um, the way that I'm doing this, the way that I'm preparing my, um, my class, so let me change color here. Um, so um, this is on the Mac, so what I'm going to do is prepare my lecture um, using Keynote, and then um, make a PDF of that, and the PDF I'm going to put in Dropbox, and this Dropbox is linked to the Dropbox on my iPad, so I won't really, that's how I'm going to transfer information from my Mac to um, the, the iPad. And on the iPad, I'm using Notes Plus. This is Notes Plus that you're seeing here. I'm, I'm writing in Notes Plus. I can also write um, small. Uh, I like the um, the felt tip, uh, the big marker for annotating um, slides. And then uh, from Notes Plus, I will um, generate uh, an annotated PDF. So basically, um, there's an, a way of exporting um, the, the, the presentation that has been annotated to a PDF. And from there, I um, airdrop the PDF to my Mac. So that's even faster. So back through AirDrop to the Mac. And so I end up with um, the original PDF of the slides and the annotated PDF. I'm going to make both available, I'll see at some point if, if um, students prefer one or the other. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, so you can also see that um, I can record myself and um, it takes a while to go through the video afterwards and, and um, you know, move things around. Uh, I can bring any window to the, the, the front, or I want to show you that um, I can also switch to the screen of my Mac uh, fairly easily. And um, so this is ScreenFlow. In order to record all this, I'm using ScreenFlow. Um, it is expensive, 129 I bought it a long time ago and I, it was worth it. Um, I've been creating, creating many videos with it. Um, it's pretty intuitive, uh, pretty simple to create videos. And you have several different streams. You have the screen uh, of the Mac, the screen of the, um, the iPad, the, 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 the video, and you can, you know, turn one off, bring, uh, make one bigger, smaller, you can really um, do a lot, but it takes a, a, a little bit of time. So pretty much, if, if I'm recording a half hour video, it's going to take me 45 minutes to um, go through it and adjust things. But anyway, hope this helps.